Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show an update on this Tesla coil set out of mine. I finally gotten the fly back to work as it should. Let me begin with that part. Uh, I was looking for a feedback coil on the flyback itself. I had a few options and this one this is pin number 5 and pin number 5, 6, 7, 8 5 and 8 was the best option uh, to make it work very good I also want a second uh, I also want a uh, feedback coil on the core itself that one also work but since this one worked very good as well and it is much uh, cleaner setup to use a coil that is in the flyback itself I decided to use this one it does work very good so my pin number one and two are my primary and number five number eight is my feedback coil and the number seven is the negative of my voltage high voltage output what else is very important are those two resistors here when you look online you find yeah there are different values but in my case the resistor going from positive to one side of the to the feedback coil is a 305 ohm the other one going from the negative to the wire from the feedback coil is a 68 ohm these two combinations uh, these two in combination give me the best possible output and the best possible spark uh, power at a spark gap you will see it in a moment it is working now very good the output is much much better the only thing I still need I still waiting for them to get in the mail or the capacitor this is still one 20 kV uh, 100 picofarad capacitor which is far too small I really need larger ones gonna run it for a while like this the gap at this moment is uh, too wide I do have some output I'm gonna leave it like that for you to see the sparks how powerful the sparks are let me connect it It is making also a pretty loud sound, but uh, here it goes. Here's a nice view of it in the dark. As you can see, the spark is not skidding around. I can move it a little bit. Yeah, that's a nice one. I have a neon on the secondary also. Yeah, very nice. Gonna stop it now. Then I'm gonna do a 13 watt load test. Here's my 13 watt tube. I'm gonna put it on this side. Then I'm gonna go with the. This is 30 watt tube. I'm gonna put it over here. Make sure it's standing. Okay, yes. Um, put it like this. I'm going to start it up, then I have to play with the gap a little bit to get the best uh, possible um, adjustment to get the best uh, possible light output on this load this one goes over here Okay, here it goes.
you can oh uh, even now you can see the light I'm gonna play with the gap now yeah the spark gap is really crazy This is for gap. It's looking very intense and very powerful. Wouldn't like to get hit by that. As you can see, the light bulbs are on, the light tubes. Yeah, that's about right. It's a shame you cannot see. The light output on this camera is very good. But it's pretty good. I can clearly see in the basin. Here I'm holding one of the scoop in my hand now. So yeah. That's about it. One more time. The spark gap. Which is really going crazy. Whew. My ears. The sound is incredible, man. It's almost unbearable for a long period of time. So yes, this is a very good progress. I finally got them my uh, feedback coil my feedback trans not my feedback coil my flyback transformer to work absolutely awesome the only thing i think uh, i need is better capacitor over here and that will certainly help me to get a better output but the spark gap is now pretty uh, damn impressive and very powerful uh, for the rest this is a tip uh, 35.5 and the heatsink, it is slightly warm, not bad at all, slightly, not much. So the draw isn't that bad. Capacitor for uh, some back EMF, if there's any, to be captured and not to damage my uh, transistor. Other than that, very simple, very basic. One transistor, one capacitor, two resistor primary red wires these two feedback coil the other one negative of the high voltage side the capacitor is in parallel with the outputs and the spark gap is on let me think over here is on the negative side of the output next I will wait for the uh, capacitor to get in the middle and gonna try them over here and hopefully get the better results. I do think so myself. Okie dokie. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.